Hey guys, it's Sassy Mouth, and today I'm going to show you this family recipe. It was on my husband's side, and his grandmother would make it. It's called Strawberry Pretzel Salad, and I can't wait to show you today how to make it. To get started for this great recipe, we're going to need two cups of pretzels and I have and they're gonna to need to be crushed. And I've already done that in my food processor, but you can use a Ziploc bag, use a rolling pin, whatever, and put it in. And I you wanna have them kind of like you want some of the pretzel chunks and then some of it as like grainy. Um so we have that in our bowl, then we're gonna take three tablespoons of sugar and then three fourths cup of melted butter pour that in and that is our crust for this we're going to make it in um there's three layers don't worry they're easy so we'll mix this layer in and that the pretzels we're using instead of like a gram is you know you want that salty with the sweet it's really good so we'll just pour it in a baking dish. And just spread it out evenly. I've made my crust mixture and put it in here. You can see. I'm going to show you close up how it's going to look. You just see there. In the oven, it's going to go at 400 degrees. And we're going to pop it out and let it cool until we continue for the next layer. For our next step, we're going to take this now will be the middle layer, and we're gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese that is a little softened. So we've got that in there. And then we're going to need two cups of white sugar. Now what we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna let this mixture kind of combine together. Combine for about a couple minutes till it's really nice and smooth, and then we'll add in our whipped topping. So our mixture has creamed really well. I like to do one little fast thing at the end, try and get some of it off. But I can't remember what I said if I said two cups of sugar or one, but it's only one. So just be careful. Bring your bowl over here. So we've got this really thick cream cheese and sugar mixture, and it tastes amazing. Next, what we're gonna do is fold in, I have one eight ounce container of whipped topping, and we're gonna fold all of this in. So I've already folded in the whipped topping and it's this thick mixture, and it's gooey gooey yumminess. That's gonna be our middle layer, and I've already taken out our crust and I'm letting it cool in the refrigerator um, so then I can top this off. But in the meantime, we're gonna get started with the top layer. And what we're gonna need to do is bring two cups of water boiling and then we're gonna add in two packages of gelatin mix and it's gonna be any six ounces. So you can do one of those bigger ones or you can do two of the smaller So our ones. water has come to a boil and we're going to pour in our gelatin packets now. And I'm using strawberry. Um, you could use whatever flavor you really wanted, just depending on how you want it. But this is how it was made from my husband's grandmother. So I'm going to pour in two of these three ounce gelatin packets. I'm going to stir until it dissolves. We're actually going to take it off the heat now. Our gelatin mixture has dissolved and next I'm going to add in is our frozen raspberries. But you can use strawberries, but his family did raspberries. They just like the flavor better. Um, so we need, we need about 20 ounces of frozen strawberries, raspberries, whatever you like to add in. So there's that. Then we're going to take our gelatin mixture and pour it over the raspberries, the frozen raspberries, and give it just a little stir. 
So lastly, we're going to take all of our three components and layer them on top of each other. So we've got our pretzel mixture that's brown and it's now come to be our crust. And then we're going to take our cream cheese and whipped topping and sugar mixture and just spread that out. Nice thick layer. Mm. So lastly, we're going to add our gelatin and raspberry mixture. I'm using a ladle just to kind of put it down so it doesn't break up the layers. And then all I'm going to add on top, because I'm celebrating this for 4th of July, is I'm just going to put top it with some fresh blueberries. And I'm just going to help them be pressed in the gelatin just a little bit so they stay, um, so they stick in. But other than that, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator and I'm going to let it set because that gelatin needs to set. And I like to let it be at least like two, three hours um, before just make sure everything's really nice and cool. Alright, you can see that we have let our strawberry pretzel salad chill in the fridge and it is all done beautiful. I mean absolutely beautiful. Stunning the colors. So all we need to do now is dig in and try a bite. Get down there in that crust. I'm most excited for this pretzel crust because that salty sweet with everything is going to be fantastic. And this, um, my husband's mother told me, this is her mother's recipe, and they told me they call it uh, strawberry pretzel salad because then that way it's not considered a dessert. So they can have dessert afterwards. There we go. Kind of fell apart on me. Oh well. Still tastes the same, right? Ah! Losing it all over the place. Alright, let's take a bite of this. Make sure you get some of the crust, the cream cheese mixture in the middle. Amazing. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with this. Taking it to a pot, potluck, anywhere for a dessert or a salad. So please, please try this recipe out. And you can check me out at www.softymouth.com. Find me on Twitter and YouTube. You can also like me on Facebook. And until next time, remember to keep it softy. Thanks.